with you. chapter 1 down to the third verse down to the fourth verse good morning everyone good morning. it's good to be in service one more time hallelujah somebody it's good to be in service one more time Hallelujah, just to hear all your voices. Yes. All your all voice. voices. It's good to be in service one more time. Hallelujah. And I will be reading 1 Samuel, starting at the first verse, chapter 24, starting at the first verse. And it came to pass when Saul was returning from following the Philistine, that it was told him, saying, Behold, David is in the wilderness of Injury. Then Saul took the took three thousand chosen men out of all Israel and went to seek David and his his men upon the rock of the wild goat. And he came and it came to pass and he came to pass sheep coat by the way where was a cave and Saul went in to cover his feet and David and his men remained it in the side of the cave. Amen. Amen. I have read 1 Samuel chapter 24 yes. starting at the first verse uh -huh. and ending at the fourth verse. Yes. God bless the reading uh -huh. of his word. Yes, Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And let us all be attentive and listen to the word of God when the yes. speaker come yes. up. We will now have prayer uh -huh. from Deacon Blue. Right. It's again. Father, we come just to tell you thank you. Lord, we want you to come on on the outside this morning and see about your children right now. We're trying to call on your holy and righteous name as the armor, armor where we know how far. But Father, I want to pause in just a little while. And Lord, if I do anything that stop with this prayer from going through, Lord, forgive me the wrong I have done this afternoon or this week, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we need you as we walk and talk and up and down these dangerous highways and byways. Father, we want to say, Lord, we thank you because when, I, when we woke up early, early, early this morning, you gave the opportunity of our living, Father. You let one foot in front of the other foot. And that's enough, so Lord, we thank you. Father, when you woke us up this morning, we had to add to our limbs. We could wave our hands this morning. We was able to dress ourselves this morning. And that's enough, so Lord, we thank you. Because somebody woke up this morning and couldn't hardly dress themselves. Somebody woke up this morning and could have hardly bathed themselves up. 
Somebody woke up this morning, had that too many mouthfuls just to get some food this morning. But we woke up without a portion of a light after the script. Oh, yeah. And that's oh, another yeah. thing. Lord, we thank you. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Woo. Father, we don't want to call you loud, but we want to tell Lord, teach us how to pray for you. Teach us what to pray for, Father. Father, we don't want to pray for ourselves all the time. We want to pray for somebody else, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because right now, Father, everything is going down except the word of God, Father. Realize, Father, we got to have it hidden in our heart so we won't sin against thee, Father. Father, come on in the room. Come in and out of fear right now, Father. Because we need you, Father. We need you to walk with us. We need you to be with us, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, as man of God, bring us word God. Let it be food to our soul. Feed us till we want no more, Father. Feed us from our higher, Father. Feed us till we get our country running over. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father. Father, you do these things. We will be so careful to give your name the praise and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the church say amen. 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 Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all about to excuse me with this hat this morning. Yeah. Kind of chilly up here. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Lord. I'm to protect Thank myself from the cold. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. I'm just going to have to work. Under the hat, the Lord's under there. Yeah. Because he's in me. We're going to go right into the word. Hallelujah. Don't seem like this mic is getting out right. Bring me the other mic, Dick. Let's see what he's going to say. Something is going on with this film. Try it out. Hey, lights off. Lights off. Hallelujah. 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 Again, giving honor to God on first in our life. Realizing the word of God must go on. Although it might be chilly, but that's all right. We believe in that God will take care of us. We're talking today from the Old Testament scripture. Talking about Jonah. From the first chap, second chapter of Jonah, starting at the first verse, Jonah then prayed unto the Lord, unto God, out of the fish belly. Jonah prayed unto the Lord, out of the fish belly. Jonah prayed unto the Lord, out of the fish belly. Jonah should have never been in the fish belly. He should have never been there to start with. If he would have just done what the Lord told him to do. Because the first chapter it said now the word of the Lord came with a Jonah, the son of Ammonite, saying, Rise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for thy wickedness is come up before me. But Jonah rose, holly up, to flee unto Tasha from the present 
of the law. How can you get away from the law? The Lord sit high, and the Lord look low, and he see everything that we do. And went down to Joppa, and he found a ship going to Tartar. So he paid the fare thereof, and went down unto it, and go with them um, to, to go with them unto Tasha from the presence of the Lord. I'm going to use for a topic today a second chance. A second chance. And my subtopic, you can't get away from God. Ain't no good of you trying. You can't get away from the law. Now Jonah had specific instruction. He understood the language. He knew the Lord. Why didn't he do what he's supposed to do? Because the Lord said, if you go, I'll go with you. And you open your mouth, I'll speak for you. So you ain't got to worry about whenever God tell you to go somewhere. God gonna have it already worked out when you get there. Church say amen. Well, Jonah, what's wrong with you? We are today in the same boat that Jonah was in. God tell us to go to the right, we'll go to the left. Tell us to go to the left, we'll go to the right. We want to do exactly what we want to do. We'll do what we want to do, not what God wants us to do. If we tell you to do right, we'll do wrong. Hallelujah. Anything that God tell us to do, I'm telling you, we get in trouble by disobeying the law. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Ain't God all right? Oh, my God, my God, my God, my God. Jonah, do, why didn't you do the right thing? It hurts us when we don't do the right thing. We know right from wrong. But we rather do what we want to do. Oh, Lordy. Yeah. And John rose up, hallelujah, and to flee from Tasha, from the presence of the Lord. How can you flee from the presence of God when God never sleeps? I don't care if he could try to sneak down to Joppa. In the nighttime, it don't matter. God sees him. Because early in the morning, God's already awake. God see him. In the midday, God see everything that we do. Trying to hide from Almighty God. Now, Jonah, Hallelujah, felt comfortable. Hallelujah, what he was doing. But it was not right with God. Because God had some people needed the word of God. Now we out here, cold as it is, a lot of people in their warm houses. Hallelujah. And they need to be out here giving you some praise. Yeah. Sometimes people try to worry about who's doing the preaching, but the word of God is the word of God. Hallelujah. I thank God for everything he's done in my life and I always say, what's there what God have for me to do, I'm going to do it. Hallelujah, somebody. Jonah, hallelujah. Yes. Well, he had it going on. He went to Joppa, took his money, paid his fare. Help me, somebody. 
and got on a ship going to Tasha. Yes, he got on it, expecting to make the trip to Tasha because he paid a full fare to go to Tasha. But God met him, went in, got on the boat, got on the ship, a merchant ship. He didn't care what kind of ship he got on. He didn't get on the love boat ship. He just got on a ship, a merchant ship, where there was current cargo. He wanted to get out of Dodge fast from the presence of the Lord. I don't care where you go. Today, God has already been there. I don't care where you go. God has already been there. Hallelujah. And he can go back any time he so desires. Yeah. Help me, somebody. Went down on bottom deck. Went to sleep. Hallelujah. Resting on the bottom of the ship. Hallelujah. But God, hallelujah, was looking at him. I can see God looking at Jonah from glory. Said, Jonah, Lord Jonah, poor, poor Jonah, I give you a command to go to Nineveh. I told you what to do. And now there you go on a boat going somewhere else the other way. You cannot do that. Not with God. Not with God, no. You can't. Nineveh is a great city. Great city. And the people need the Lord. And the only way they can get the Lord, you got to go down there and cry against that city. Hallelujah. Other word, go down there and preach the word to the people so the people can hear the word of God. How can you hear without a preacher? How can he preach unless he's sent by God? Hallelujah. Jonah, go down to Nineveh and preach my word. Jonah, Jonah, Jonah found out that he could not hide from the Lord. After a while, hallelujah, God touched the water. God touched the wind. And God touched the waves. And the boat started rocking, reeling and rocking from side to side until it felt like it was going to turn over. And the merchants on the ship, hallelujah, all that good cargo they was carrying to Nineveh. Help me somebody. Hallelujah. Not to Nineveh. Hallelujah. All that good food on the ship, a merchant ship, were carrying it. Great God. Hallelujah to Tasha. But that's all right. God met him out in the middle of the sea. And they got in trouble. And everybody around him got in trouble. All the ship master said, I've been out here sailing this road, this ship for a long time. Going from one place to another. I have never seen the Shiwa Ocean act like this. The ocean had gotten mad because Jonah disobeyed the Lord. If you disobey the Lord, you'll get yourself in big trouble. Somebody say, yeah, trouble will meet you on the road if you disobey God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I say, Joppa and the ticket had been paid. Hallelujah. Tasha, where they were headed to, to deliver the cargo and a deserted man on the ship after it got so bad the shipmaster been the wonder 
Something is different about this water today. Hallelujah. Something is different in these waves today. Great God Almighty. Something different in this wind today. It's different from any other time I've ever been out here. He starts searching the ship. He searched himself. He asked the men, what's going wrong? He started looking around from place to place and wanted to know where all this where all this trouble coming from. And after a while, he went down on the bottom deck and saw old Jonah down there laying down, sleeping, rocking, dreaming. Hallelujah. But he was running from the Lord. After a while, by and by, old shipmaster woke him up. We started and shook him. Woke him up. And said, Jonah, you better get up, man. You better get up from here. You see what's happening out here. Look at this ship. It's about to be broken. Great God Almighty. And you is down and sleeping. You better get up and call on your God. But Jonah knew right away what the problem was. Great God from Zion. You know when you're doing wrong. Ain't no good to kid yourself. You know when you're right and you know when you're wrong. You already know. You know when you're living right. when you're living wrong. Look at yourself. You already know. You already know. Hallelujah. John will say, Master say, where's your country? Where you come from? I want to know your background. What's your nationality? What kind of peoples are you? Jonah said, I'm a Hebrew, great God Almighty, and I know the Lord. And Jonah opened up to the shipmaster and said to the shipmaster, I am the reason this water, these waves, this ship is about to be broken. You done throw it all your good overboard. No God is fixing. Cargo, you throw it overboard. Hallelujah. Just to save a sinking ship. But I am the problem. Hallelujah. Why? Some of us be in trouble. We let other people get in trouble. On account of us. Some people in prison today because somebody lied on them and they know they walk around out here and they know they are the one they are the one they are the one that did the crime thank god from zion i'm so glad today i will let nobody take the blame for me if i'm the guilty one i'm gonna say i am guilty i'm not gonna let nobody stay in jail 10 or 20 years for something i done great god almighty jones said i'm i'm guilty but the ship master and the people they didn't want they didn't want to pass judgment on jonah so what they did they said Lord, make the judge. We gonna cast lots. We gonna pull some straw. We was a boy. We used to pull straw. Hallelujah! For some of the ridiculous things that you ever could imagine, we will pull straw and say, "Who gonna get the prettiest girlfriend?" And we pull straw, and the one get the shortest straw. That's the one to get the prettiest girlfriend. We did some of the ridiculous things, but Jonah was in a spot worse than any girlfriend or any beautiful car. Jonah was in a bad fix. They didn't want to throw him overboard. 
but God, hallelujah, still had his hand on the ship. It won't no giving up. These presidents, hallelujah, these congressmen, they ought to wake up and see what God doing. If God can walk out in the ocean, great God from Zion, and take a boat after the thought of them that the, the condemned said man overboard. Now they do it overboard. They said, let's cast the lots. Let me stop a while. Let me cast the lots. And they threw him overboard. And when Jonah hit the water, God had made a way for him to escape. While we are trying to figure it out, God already got it worked out. Help me somebody. I'm so glad in my lifetime. God always make a way for me when I can't see no way. When my way look dark and dreary. Hallelujah. I can turn and call on the Lord. Lay my head back and call on the Lord. And the Lord will hear my cry. Hallelujah. Jonah. I told you what to do. Thank God from Zion. I told you to go to Nineveh and preach my word. Hallelujah. Let me look. This is going to be a two-part sermon because I will not get through with it. Not today. Great God up from a burning world. Hallelujah. I learned how to lean and depend on Jesus. He's my everything. Somebody say yeah. Or blow your horn, say yeah. Thank God for Jesus. After a while, Jonah's hit the water. When Jonah's hit the water, the Bible say, a lot of people say, a great whale come and picked up Jonah. But don't you know, God know the difference between a whale and a fish. The Bible say, that Jonah was snapped up, swallowed by a big fish. He didn't say a big fish, he say a fish. God can do anything he want to do. Now, if you can't hide from God, I got a few strippers wrote down on the day that people tried to hide from God. Hallelujah. Great God from Zion, Psalm 41. Hallelujah, talking about how. Woo! 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God wrote scriptures. Psalm. Hallelujah. Running. Run from David. Trying to hide. Just like Jonah. Went in the cave, went up on a rough mountain uh -huh. where the goats can travel most of any kind of mountain because yeah. their feet designed to do it. Uh -huh. And he went up way up somewhere trying to hide from David. And David, David walked in the cave that night while he was in there sleeping. Just like Jonah was sleeping uh -huh. and hiding yeah. in the cave. And David uh -huh. snipped his piece off his coat uh -huh. and went back. He was holding up yeah. because God said, Touch not my anointing, nor do my prophet no harm. Uh -huh. David got the little piece of cloth. Uh -huh and went back to the mountain yeah. holding up the cloth yeah. great God from Zion yeah. and when Saul woke up in the morning yeah. he looked out and saw David yeah. waving the cloth yeah. he had soldiers yeah. all around him yeah. guarding him yeah. I'm telling you yeah. you can't hide from God I don't care what you do there's no way you can hide from God Hallelujah. That's 1 Samuel 24 and 23. Psalm 102, 28. Hallelujah. 
we ought to start praising God. Because you can't do a thing with the law. Read Psalm 102.28. And you'll find out how they're trying to hide from God. You can't do it in the book of Genesis. Hallelujah. You got the first beginning of life. And they disobeyed God. And they went and said fool leaf. Fig leaf together to try to hide from God. And they heard God coming, walking in the cool of the day. I'm going to let you know today, you can't hide from God. You keep on messing up, God will soon walk up on you. Hallelujah. And they cried out, where are you? Oh, oh, Eve, where are you? Oh, Adam, where are you? We are hiding because we heard you coming in the garden. He already knew they had already messed up. But you can't hide from God. Help me somebody as I continue on. Jonah 1 and 14. Oh, don't let us die because of this man's blood. They didn't want to throw Jonah overboard. They wanted to try to do everything they could do for the threw him over the overboard. They didn't want to have that man in some blood on their hand. So they couldn't do it. So as I say, they cast him overboard. And the fish got him. And the fish dealt with him. Great God Almighty. If these religious leaders, and if these uh, senators, governors, the president will go and start calling on the Lord. That'll be next week. Start calling on the Lord to get off them neckties and them fancy suits. Great God to mighty in them hellish ways. Don't want to do nothing for the peoples of God. Peoples of God have worked all their lives putting money into the treasury department. Great God Almighty, you know the tithes, hallelujah, and the offerings, and you know taxes has been out for a long time. They've been collecting taxes. Great God from Zion, all those problems that the world began, they was picking up taxes. Where's all that tax money? You know the treasure should be so big that it should take a building as big as I don't know what to hold the treasury money but you know they won't even give the poor peoples uh, that's in the food bank line they won't give them no food just a little bit of food and you know that food don't last they'll give them what they want them to have why don't they get them neckties off and get them fancy suits off and get them fancy robes off the judges huh? Hallelujah. They ought to come off off their judge seat and get in the food bank line and start giving out food themselves to the needy people. Help me somebody. Just a little while. I'm finna get ready to close because they more to this and I can't give it all to you today. There's a lot to this. People trying to hide from God. Trying to throw the bricks and hide their hand. I'm going to let you know today. God On you. Yes. Woo. Yes. You ought to come out and ride over in the Word of God to Second Corona. That's what you ought to do. When they get over there, they ought to stop over by the seventh chapter. They need to walk into the 14th verse. They need to go over there. Hallelujah. Stop by. Hallelujah, Jonah. Two, two. Hallelujah. They need to stop definitely by 2 Corinthians 7, 14 and learn what God said. If we could just get together, we won't have to be trying to make million dollars worth of, worth of that. We shouldn't have to make 
spend millions of dollars for that vaccine. That stuff they're trying to make. And everybody trying to do fast and try to be the first one to say, I got the virus. Kill. But if they did, like God told Jonah, go to Nineveh and preach my word. You can't mess with God. He said, if they will come down and say, my people, which are called by my name, will open themselves and pray and seek my faith, then they'll have from heaven. Anybody help me today? We better get in the world of God and find out what God is trying to tell us today. We got all these people dying. What we got to do is come out of these fancy offices and start praying to the Lord. This will continue. I got a lot more of this. Hallelujah. Because it ain't stopped yet. But Jonah now is in the water in the fish belly. Yeah, yeah. He's in trouble right now. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I'm going to leave him there uh -huh. on the next Sunday. Uh -huh. all right, all right. I'm going to let him marinate uh -huh. uh -huh. down in that water uh -huh. on the next Sunday yeah. with the same topic. Uh -huh. I'm going to let him stay right there. Right there. Sometimes we get ourselves in trouble. Yeah. By not listening to what the Lord said. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. We will continue this on next Sunday. Yeah. A second chance. Yeah. A second chance. Yeah. You can't get away from God. This will continue. May God bless you and may heaven smile up on you. It's all over in the morning. Well, I wish I had somebody to just wave your hand and give God some praise. Because it will be all Lord, it'll be all over. It'll be all over. <laughs> In the morning. In the morning. Morning. Oh, Lord. In the morning. In the morning. Yeah, yeah. It'll be all over. It'll be all over. See, my bills may not be paid. <laughs> Wondering where the next paycheck is coming from. Yeah, but God will not leave me alone. It'll be all over. It'll be all over in the morning. In the morning, there ain't no need to worry. What are you worrying about? Because it'll be all over in the morning. One thing I know that he said in his word, I'll never leave you and I'll never forsake you. So what are you worrying about? Lord, it'll be all over. <laughs> It will be all over. Yeah, it'll be all over in the morning. Yeah, thank you, Lord. <laughs>
come up on the tail end of the message. But I believe that Reverend Manning was preaching on something of the blood. Jonah being so disobedient to God. Sometimes, you know, we can be so disobedient and it can cause us more trouble than we ever thought that we would have. God told Jonah to go to Nineveh. Preach my word. Lord God, Jonah didn't want to go there. Jonah couldn't stand the people. He wanted them dead. Huh? Yeah, he wanted them stomped out. He wanted them wiped out. But God was looking at thousands of people. What a great city it was. And God could see these people repenting. Ah, oh, Jonah couldn't see that. So Jonah got on a ship <laughs> and said, I'll run away. Maybe I can get away. But who knows? You can't hide from God. I don't care what you do. You can't hide from God. But somehow the men on that ship knew something was wrong. And somebody have come short. Someone is in trouble. What have I done? It wasn't me. They all begin to politic with one another. Oh God. <laughs> That's why it goes with the song. There ain't no need to worry what tomorrow's gonna bring because it'll be all over in the morning. These men begin to talk and Jonah stepped up and said, throw me overboard. If you cast me overboard, your troubles will be over. Oh, God. How many of you know that God has a way? And it's mighty sweet. You can lay your burdens down at his feet. He knows the road. And he'll bear your road. Oh, God. I'm not going to take that any further. And I'm not going to try to preach anymore because the preacher has already preached. Reb has already preached. But one thing I do know, there ain't no need to worry what tomorrow's gonna bring. Because it will be all over in the morning. Be encouraged. Glad I was able to get here. I had so many little things going on and I told Reb that I was gonna do my best to get here. I was trying to call my sister before she left home, but somehow I must have missed her. But God laid it in my spirit. Go down the hall. Knock on Brother Dave's door. I know your heart. Oh, God. And I know that you're trying to get to the house of the Lord. But I've already made a way for you. Brother Dave opened the door. I said, Brother Dave, I need you. What do you need? Can you run me down to the church on 401? Give me a two, three minutes. I have my pants on and I'll take you there. Look at God. There ain't no need to worry about what tomorrow's going to bring because it will be all over in the morning. So I don't know what you're faced with today. I don't know what you're going through. I, I don't know what your situation or your problem is. But one thing I do know, if you trust God, 
Oh, somebody know. If you trust God and believe, God will. He'll work things out. Yes, he will. I just ask you to pray my strength in the Lord. My heart just lifted up when I saw my brother-in-law got out of the car over there. I said to myself, I said, my wife must have forgot about him. That's what I said, but I don't know what it was. But while he was trying to figure a way to get here, God had already made a way down the hall. And guess what? He's here now. That's a man of his word. Y'all keep in mind, you can't hide from God. I don't care what time of day or night you try to sneak away. God got his eyes on you. God said, I don't slumber nor sleep, my brother. Yes. And he's not going to get you mixed up with nobody else either. Amen. He had his eyes on Jonah. Yes. Sneaking away. Yes, he did. Trying to hide. Yes. I know how you do when you try to hide. Yes, sir. You know, you know, you know. Yes, sir. Soon looking. Yes. But how many times have you just stopped and looked up? The world people might not be looking at you. That's right. Front, back, side to side. But God, yeah. looking down. Yes, sir. And he see everything yes, sir. that you do. That's right. And you're going to give an account oh, yeah. at the judgment. May God bless you. And may heaven smile on you. Turn to God a blessing, Father. Yes, again, we bring this prayer to you, Lord God, in your presence. Into your ears. Lord, realizing, Lord, we got a, joy, a charge to keep. And a God to glorify. And we got to keep this going one way or another. For Lord God, you could have snow on the ground today other than being cold. Amen. But you allowed us to come together one more time to give your name some praise. Yeah. Lord, thank you, Lord God, for letting us go through this service, Lord God. And I hope we have touched somebody's heart. Yeah. Somebody may be trying to hide from the preachers or from the deacons or from the world. But I don't care where you go try to hide. God always got his eyes on us. Amen. And not only that, he's going to see somebody going to see you anyway. That's right. And you won't get busted anyway. Yes. You can't hide. It. No matter where you go, somebody already knows you. And they're going to just run and call your name. Amen. And catch you in a mess. Yeah. God bless us, Lord, all of us, yeah. Yeah. including me. In your precious name, yes. I pray. Yes. Amen. Amen. Now, may the Thanks for watching. God bless. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah.